Hello, I'm Alexa Morales for Oracle Developers, and I have got a Raspberry Pi project for you. Now, you may have heard that Oracle developers and engineers love to use Raspberry Pi for various purposes. I've written about it on our Forbes channel, and we've got some popular videos here on this channel as well about it. The most popular uh, project ever is the Raspberry Pi supercomputer that various engineers built, and I got to participate in assembling two years ago with over a thousand Raspberry Pis housed in a phone booth a sized enclosure and shown at Oracle Open World in San Francisco. I'm going to share with you if you're a complete Raspberry Pi newbie as I am and you've never done a project before, I have a super simple project for you. It involves making your own little webcam. Now this obviously has no pretty enclosure it right now. I'm just holding it together in my hand. But what this comprises is a Raspberry Pi Zero board, a little camera cable, and then this one is a very cheap version one five megapixel camera. So this is the lowest quality camera that you can put on this. I would recommend something slightly better than this uh, for an actual webcam. Although it can be nice if you're live streaming and you want just a second little cam, let's say with a close up of your hands or, or your table, your keyboard, something else. This could work quite well as a second or third camera. But you can also buy a higher quality camera than this. You can buy a eight megapixel one or you can buy the new Raspberry Pi high quality camera. And this project became popular last year as webcams were in short supply and everybody realized that their laptop webcams were such poor quality. So if you've never made a Raspberry Pi project before, I am gonna take you through how incredibly easy this is. This entails downloading Linux firmware that is designed specifically for this purpose and will allow this to be recognized as a webcam by your Linux, Mac OS, and Windows systems. It will work with Zoom, with Teams, with Jitsi, OBS. So this is a really neat project. The first iteration of it was demonstrated by David Hunt and then it was forked into a project, like I said, that has a very quick boot time and just involves one single image. So you don't need to add Raspberry Pi OS to the card. You just need to add one bit of software to this card and it will be up and running. It is literally the process of adding the software to the card, putting the card in the Raspberry Pi, connecting the camera with the appropriate cable and connecting it to the computer and you will see this working right away. It's extremely simple. So I wanna start with your supplies. You are going to need a micro USB to USB cable, often seen for charging uh, Android phones. You are going to need a Raspberry Pi camera. This is the version one camera. You're going to need a special cable. You cannot use the regular camera cable. You need one that is the camera size on one end and the Raspberry Pi Zero size on the other end. And then you need a Raspberry Pi Zero. This one is not with Wi-Fi, it's slightly cheaper, the one without Wi-Fi. And then you also need a micro SD card, like this one. To connect this cable, you simply loosen these hooks on either side of the clamp, pull them up, and then the cable comes out. And you can see you want your metallic side to go facing the board. So put that in and then clamp it down. And do the same on the other side. And there's different lengths of cable. This came in a pack of two, but you can use a smaller length or you could double this cable. And one thing that I want to do, I might put it in this little spice tin. I might take the label off, although the label's kind of cute, but it does fit in here and I would cut out a little hole for both this cable and for the power cable. But those are all the supplies you need and that's the only little trick here that often people gloss over is that you do need a specific uh, camera cable for the Pi Zero. Let's get into the software that you're going to need to put on your SD card, which you are going to format on your computer's card reader. To get started, you're going to want to grab the Raspberry Pi Imager to install the correct software onto your SD card. And this is a great way to install any Raspberry Pi software, not just this particular image. 
And one of the cool things is once you download this for your particular system, you can also even download this on to a Raspberry Pi OS itself. So if you were using a Raspberry Pi as your desktop, you could download it in terminal. So now we've downloaded that and it's time to go to the show me webcam on GitHub. And once you're here, click on tags and here in tags, you will find the latest release. Click on this latest release and download it. Let's go back to the imager. So within the imager, you simply click on choose OS and click on use custom. And here you can go into your downloads and grab that custom OS. And then you can choose your SD card, which you've mounted in the SD card reader, and then you can hit write and write it to the card. Once you've installed that image on that SD card and put that SD card into your Raspberry Pi Zero, simply connect your USB cable. Put it, connect it to the middle USB spot, not the last one, and connect the other side to your computer. You'll see the LEDs go on, and then it'll blink three times, indicating that it is ready to record. And there we have it, our second webcam is working. Although as you can see, it is not the highest quality and it is quite dark. But fear not, we can actually go into terminal and change some of those settings. As you can see on this screen, that does definitely work to improve the settings. Well, here's a little update. I found the perfect enclosure for my camera and it's working perfectly. You can see right there is the sensor. And <laughs> this is a telephone camera case that I have. And right now it's not even really secured there. It's just sitting in this clip. But I thought I would share that because I thought it was a really cute enclosure. So there you go. Project is working perfectly. And there you have it. There's your Raspberry Pi webcam costing only about $20 and also a few hours of your life that you'll never get back. No, just kidding. It'll, it's a lot of fun and it'll get you hooked on the world of creating your own Raspberry Pi powered devices. They're so neat and it also gives you newfound respect for the devices that you do buy and the kinds of boards that are contained therein. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.